There's no such thing as a wet dream. That's a demonic cultural cover-up for a sex demon you're fighting. Satan fights best in the dark. You can't win a battle you either don't know you're in or refuse to acknowledge. Woo! Well, that, I mean, like, if I'm having a wet dream and that just means I'm fighting a sex demon, maybe I want to lose that battle. <laughs> Word is the Cabal and McDonald's helped rid themselves of over 8 million children. Yes, million. Children's bodies in processed meats after using them. Before you think it's unheard of, the idea came from China, who routinely sells Uyghur's meat after organ donation for consumption under the auspices of sausage. That's what the global cabal does. That's all they've ever done. We are food and toys. Yes, we are happy meals. We need to talk. Kevin has passed. He loved you. Well, thought I'd let you know about this tragic event. Have a good day, Hannah. Hope school and life is treating you well. Bye. I don't expect an answer, nor do I really deserve one, but he was our fish, and I really thought you should know of his passing. He showed no signs of being sick, and I'm saddened by the news. I'm fucked up over this, his, this loss. I'm sure you're devastated as well. I know how much you loved him, but he's in fishy heaven now. Sorry, just don't know how to cope with this loss. He was more than just a fish. He was a lasting memory, but you've left me on red, so I get the hint. Bye. So, we're gonna react to it together. I am currently organizing my own private blood drive for my unvaccinated husband, who is in ICU in ventilator at ECMO because the blood banks do not separate blood as vaxxed and unvaxxed. Oh, shit. Do your research. We should have a choice. My 50-year-old husband died two days ago from not being vaccinated. He died because he was denied early treatment with drugs that actually work, like ivermectin and hydrochloroquine. Rendesivir does not work, but will destroy your kidneys. Stop the fucking lies. Uh-oh, here we go. Socialism is in fashion again in America. At the local level, that is, where governments have been passing mandates that tell corporations how to run their businesses. Like the Fair Workweek laws. These laws require employees to prepare working schedules for their employees ahead of time! That's right. That's socialism making companies tell their employees what time they're supposed to be at work in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Why is school so hard, bro? I'd rather be playing Fortnite. Uh, my favorite part about this are the math equations on here. Or, I mean, equations. What are we talking about? These these problems, right? Like, I could do these in my head. Two, it's absolutely... <laughs> Look at this. 146 plus 120. That's, that's 266. Holy crap. 104 plus 103. That's 207. Man, school's so hard, bro. Who thought giving, like, fourth graders phones was a good idea? This one takes the cake. This is the absolute worst. Uh, this might be the, the worst, the cringiest thing all day. Dear men, take your 21 days leave from work. Go home and tell your woman that you lost your job. Explain further that there was some loss and you had to use your savings to settle. Spend the next 14 days observing how you are treated at home and discover who you married. That's from someone named uh, Mumbi Wa Mubui. I cannot, I, I probably butchered her name. Um, I just want to say that is some of the worst advice I have ever heard.